This is a demonstration of how to use the NetScanner tool, now known as Ping Scanner, in NetScan Tools Pro version 11. As you can see, when you first start it up, it presets the IP version 4 addresses with the starting and ending address based upon your subnet mask. There's a lot of settings you can check here. You can also import an IP version 4 list of IPs right here if you wish. So it would be a text file with one IP address per line. Anyway, the settings, since this is a ping sweep utility, ping scanner, you uh, can change the timeout, uh, how long to wait for the IP address here, how many retries to use, the packet length, how many hops to go, 255 is always a good number. And this is the timeout for doing any uh, SMB, NetBIOS, SIFS type queries. You can control whether you do those queries here. You can do an ARP scan here. You can translate IPs, skip the point zero and point two fifty five IPs here, and do a subnet mask scan using the ICMP subnet mask request. And you can delete non-responding IPs from your list when it's done. Now right here you can use a specific DNS or your default system DNS to translate IP addresses to host names. Let's go ahead and use it. And since we've asked for everything, it's going to take a while, even though we put the scan delay time down to zero milliseconds, which means it's going as fast as it can. What this means is you can actually control the time between launching each thread to contact each IP address. It's almost finished, as you can see and it just deleted everything and it presented our statistical report. You can see the start and end times. You can see the total time, the IP is scanned, the total number of targets, the number that replied, the number of successful NetBIOS queries. And I'm going to minimize that report so we can go back and see the host names here, the response time, the MAC address of the device, the actual responding IP address from which the ICMP packet came back with. Now, in some cases this may not be the same as the target IP address, especially if you're using this across the internet. And this can be used across the internet, not just your local network. So if you want to see the response for a particular SMB, you would click right here and it shows you the SMP SIFS NetBIOS information. You can also view a report showing the whole IP address information. You get the echo reply, the actual responding IP address, the target IP address, the host name is responded to by either DNS or NetBIOS, MAC address, the fact that it didn't respond to a subnet mask request, and the remote machine name table that we got using a NetBIOS SIFS SMB query. So I'll minimize that again. And as you can see, none of them responded to the subnet mask request. So that's how to use the net scanner. You can also do one more thing here I want to show you um, reports. You can click on reports here and it will bring up the reports. As you can see, the thing we just did was using the ping scanner, also known as net scanner. You can view that single report by pressing this button after you've highlighted it, and you can include any test notes, and it will pull up the report here in a moment. And the report shows you the test date and time. It shows you the same grid as you saw, and it also shows you all the NetBIOS information and the statistics. Of course, any of the reports you can print by pressing this link right here. That's how to use the NetScanner tool in NetScan Tools Pro version 11, also known as the Ping Scanner.